Hey everybody, I want to give you the update for the solid bar LED area, so let me grab the camera and I'll take you over there. I've up potted the uh, cucumbers that were in the little compostable uh, compost manure pots. You see in that one there, we still don't have anything germinating from the uh, Market More 76 uh, seeds. And that was my second seeding in there, so I don't know if those seeds have gone bad. So I'll try it again. I'm trying another one. I put the seeds in two days ago, and I still haven't seen anything germinating. But I, you know, I reseeded uh, one of the other rows. I can't remember if it was the, uh, I think it was the Adam F1. You know, these here, these gherkins. There were some empty ones, and so I took those pots and I reseeded them with the Puna Cura cucumber. And I'm already seeing that they're, you know, some of them are germinating. So I up potted those, and then of course here's the Adam F1 gherkins. And uh, they're all doing really well, so we've got the same with the little leaf. And these are a really nice little small cucumber about that big, you know, maybe about that big around. They're really good for your lunches if you like to take cucumbers in your lunch, which I love to take these vegetables in my lunch because that's why I grow them. But uh, I've up-potted all those, and so they're doing really well. They're really dark green and nice. They've got their true leaves out now, you know, along with all these others. So they're going to be going outside in another month, I would say, because I'm going to let them get pretty good size inside of these 5-inch pots. Because once the peas die off from the heat, actually they may die this week. Because this week here in the uh, Pacific Northwest, we're supposed to have some 80 degree weather and then a little bit of rainy weather for the, you know, leading up to the weekend. And then on the weekend, starting on Sunday, I believe we're supposed to hit the 90s. So that should uh, probably kill off the cucumber, or not the cucumbers, the, uh, the peas that I've got going out there and all the different, you know, bean trellises and all that. And the beans are really going to take off. So that's going to be a really good news for the, uh, the beans. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be happier. And the other thing, I don't know if Paula got the wrong sweet potatoes. Because so I told her to get me sweet potatoes that hadn't been treated with the, uh, the root inhibitor. So you get slips to grow off of those. So I'm not seeing any slips starting to grow and nothing forming inside there. So I may have to just go ahead and order a couple of potatoes or a couple of, you know, I don't know, five or ten of them from High Mowing Seed this week. And because uh, I know they, they sent me an email that they are getting close to their last shipping of sweet potatoes. So I think tomorrow I might go online and uh, order a couple of those and I'll get those growing in here. But uh, otherwise, I think we're just going to end up probably eating these guys because they haven't done anything in over a week and a half of sitting in here. I'm not seeing any, uh, you know, growth development or anything. So that's kind of the update for the salad bar LED area, which has now become Cucumber Central and, well, cabbage and no, no sweet potato slips. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys again. Have a great weekend. Well, our weekend's over, so have a great week and uh, a great upcoming Father's Day. All right, bye guys.